This engine from 1994 can let us travel faster than the speed of light without breaking any laws, and I'll show you exactly how it works. The closest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is still over four light years away, meaning even if we somehow find a way to travel at the speed of light, it would take us four years of non-stop travel to get there. And this is our nearest neighbor. Clearly, we've got some work to do if we want to be hopping between solar systems anytime soon. Back in 1994, theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed the warp drive, aka the Alcubierre drive. Highly speculative and theoretical, of course, but it is based on a viable solution to Einstein's field equations, and hey, Einstein hasn't been wrong yet. The warp drive doesn't actually move at all. The actual fabric of space-time moves around it. Any spaceship equipped with this warp drive would be encased by a large ring that would compress space-time in front of the ship, which is just the physical fabric of space that our reality exists in, and expand space-time behind it. The net effect being the spacecraft appearing to move through space faster than light. But in reality, it's space-time itself that's moving around the spacecraft. And space-time is not bound by our cosmic speed limit, which is evident in the many theories suggesting that our universe itself is actually expanding faster than the speed of light, manipulating space as a loophole to getting around the physical limitation of light speed. On paper, there technically aren't any limits to the top speed this warp drive can hit, so we'd be able to travel between solar systems and possibly galaxies in days, hours, or maybe even instantly. Exactly how we're gonna do this, we're still figuring it out. Maybe all those UAPs we've been seeing zipping around can help us out.